the launch of the X299 chipset, we've gotten quite a number of questions from users on whether or not we're going to have a tough series of motherboard. And we're very excited to be able to note that for our X series of chipsets, the 299, we're going to be offering two versions of the tough series boards, one being the Mark 1 and the other being the Mark 2. These boards have really become known in the industry of being purpose-built for the focus of long-term builds uh, that offer extraordinarily high reliability and durability and, of course, outstanding thermal control and performance. In addition to that, of course, you get all the expectations uh, that are aligned with an ASU series motherboard in terms of top quality components, as well as outstanding overclocking capabilities and robust fan controls. So with this, let's go ahead and talk a bit about what makes the Tough Series of boards so special. For this generation, for the X299 series, we've gone ahead and revisited the overall design aesthetic that we have for our Tough Series motherboards. And we've more closely adopted the same type of monochromatic neutral color scheme that we've seen on our Prime and our RG series of motherboards. This is fantastic, as I think it really is gonna offer a lot of enthusiasts the most flexibility to be able to integrate the system uh, for whatever type of uh, look and feel that they want. So if you're an enthusiast that cares about the overall aesthetic color scheme of your system, whether you're gonna be a gamer or a content creator, or uh, you know somebody that's just looking to be able to put together a high quality quality, high performing base system, definitely the aesthetic is not going to be something that's going to compel you to treat this board otherwise as an outstanding choice for a great platform. We've also gone ahead and integrated some minimal RGB uh, lighting. Now this is very minimal and of course if you don't like it you can entirely turn it off and it's part of the central tough logo that's built onto the motherboard so that if you just want to have some basic accent lighting right there on your system you can do that easily. But for users that are looking for a little bit of ambience lighting in their build they can easily go ahead and color coordinate the integrated RGB lighting that's built onto the central portion of the motherboard in addition to also synchronize with the ASUS or RGB header that's featured on the bottom side of the motherboard. All the way around it's a nice way to be able to take the look and feel of your system to the next level. Now moving beyond aesthetics but something that squarely really defines the look and feel for this motherboard is going to be the overall thermal armor system that's been built onto this tough X299 Mark I series motherboard. First, the board actually has an integrated specialized fan, which works with a shunt-based design in conjunction with the M.2 heatsink that's present as part of the thermal armor design. Be able to ensure it also receives improved thermal performance. Unlike many other boards that you see on the marketplace, there's no M.2 uh, slots that are directly in proximity to the hottest running parts of the motherboard, which are generally going to be your CPU and your primary physical by 16 PCI Express slot. When you talk about thermal radar, there are literally multiple sensor points sprinkled throughout the entirety of the motherboard, covering things like PCIe slots, the DRAM, the VRM, the motherboard, uh, the PCH, the CPU socket. All of these are monitored direct in real time with a specialized controller to be able to ensure the best performance and response. Now, when we talk about the fan headers on the system, this is also where the Tough really distinguishes itself in offering extensive levels of fan control connectivity as well as flexibility and functionality. Your primary chassis fan headers all fully support DC and PWM out control, meaning that they support three pin fans as well as four pin fans. They also fully support calibration and profiling, meaning that we can figure out the minimum and the maximum operating speeds of these fans. This helps again to not only bring you the best balance of cooling performance, but also quiet operation so that you get a really great acoustic experience from your system. Now, optimally tying into the fan control functionality is going to be the multiple temperature sensors that we talked about. Those temperature sensors can work directly with all the fan headers that are on this motherboard to allow users to have the most granularity and control in how they want their fans to respond. This is important because you may have, let's say, a, uh, a hard drive array that you want to be able to go ahead and have optionally temperature monitored through a thermosistor and then have your fans respond to that temperature as opposed to traditionally all the fans being uh, responding to the CPU temperature. Another Another key area that we do want to touch on is going to be memory overclocking. This is an area that ASUS has spent considerable time and effort uh, in terms of the overall development to really be able to have an outstanding uh, what's called trace layout and overall DRAM topology. This can heavily influence the overall stability and the overclocking capability uh, of the memory controller when working in conjunction with the motherboard. In fact, in our lab performance testing, we've easily found that the motherboard can hit frequencies of 3600 to an excess of, of DDR4 4000 essentially 4,000 megahertz or 4 gigahertz. This is truly impressive and is really going to allow for users to have the absolute best performance uh, when paired with a, an overclocked KB Lake X as well as Skylake X based CPU. Now, in addition to the tough rated components that are present on the motherboard, such as the VRM components like the tough capacitors and the tough power stages and the overall power circuitry, and that's the inclusion of a full SEC 
uh, metal base backplate. This is really impressive because it adds a level of weight and rigidity and torsion resistance to the motherboard that you just don't see in other motherboards. It really allows it to have a premium look and feel to it and also comes integrated with a new option for this generation. And that's going to be the inclusion of a special VGA brace. So this is something that we've seen on previous generation tough boards that really uh, the community and users of previous generation tough boards have really appreciated. It improves the overall torsion resistance, the rigidity and the handling ease of how you work with this motherboard when you go about installing it. Furthermore, it also actually provides as a functional heatsink and the fact that it makes direct contact with the VRM power stages. So that MOSFET section makes direct contact to the actual back plate that's featured on the back of the Tough Mark 1, allowing you to get even further improved thermal performance. Now for many enthusiasts out there that are looking to really be able to do a lot with the Tough Series board, you're also going to appreciate the Tough Detective 2 implementation. This takes all the previous generation options that were available in terms of monitoring things like temperatures and voltages and fan speeds, all through a direct USB-based attachment to then a compatible device like a tablet or a smartphone. Now in regards to the Mark 1 and its I.O., it's got all the key connections you could really ask for in terms of a modern generation enthusiast motherboard. So of course you're going to have your standard USB 2, USB 3.0 and USB 3.1. Now as we noted this board does support two M.2 slots but one of them is optimally suited to be able to provide the best thermal performance possible. And that's going to be the one that's located there on the bottom which works in conjunction with an assist fan as well as a heatsink. It also does come equipped with dual Intel Gigabit LAN. Now this is fantastic especially for more professional usage models or for gamers that are especially taking advantage of streaming. The big benefit outside of general failover protection, so if one actually uh, Ethernet port fails, you have a secondary port there to be able to back up and be able to get back up online, is being able to maximize the performance and how your system is working in complementary fashion with your local area network and the systems that you may have connected to that local area network. Now moving to the audio, the Mark 1 also features a great audio design and leverages a lot of the work that's been implemented on ROG as well as Prime Series motherboards. You you have a fully isolated audio section with the latest generation S1220A audio codec and quite a number of other improvements really help to give you a great experience, whether you're talking about music, movies, or games. So for this generation, we can really see that the Tough Mark 1 really continues to evolve the overall tradition that our Tough series of motherboards offer, whether we're talking about the overall build quality, uh, long-term reliability and durability, and the overall performance. All the way around, when we take a look at all the key aspects that we would expect in a high-end X299 motherboard, the Tough Mark 1 definitely adds all of those to the table while also bringing quite a number of specialized features and functions which are really complementary to those users that are looking for those long-term reliable system builds.